Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This story actually really surprised me when I realized I haven't talked about it yet. Like, I talked about the first time I've smoked weed, but I never actually got high on my first time smoking weed. And apparently that's actually really common for, like, everyone to not get high on their first time. But, I'm here now talking about my first time getting high on weed. Now, I think this had happened a little bit after I first tried it. I remember at school I had just bought, like, a couple grams off of this guy, and I had rolled up a couple joints with what I had. Because I didn't have like a bong or anything like that at the time. Like I'm pretty sure the most I had at that time was a little water bottle bong. And it was just, it was so fucking shitty. It had like a fucking pen sticking out of it and tin foil. And you couldn't even load up a pretty decently sized bowl. The most you could probably put in there was just like a little tiny pinch. And like I said, it was just so bad. But anyways, I actually used to keep it inside of this empty deodorant container. That's mostly where I would just kind of put like weed and whatever I'd have at the time. Like rolling papers in. But anyways, I got this weed and rolled it up in my room. And I had about four or five medium-sized joints. They had the green apple Juicy J's on them too, so you know that shit tasted good. But anyways, I waited for the rest of the day until it got around to be pretty late at night. So that way I'd be able to sneak out of my house and smoke. But anyways, it got pretty dark. I'd say it was about 1 in the morning at this point. I just got up, put on my jacket, and kind of just left my house. And I didn't even go that far. I kind of just went onto the street on the other side of my house. But I got out my deodorant stick, got out the joints that I rolled, and I lit that shit up. But I actually ended up smoking about three and a half of these joints. Now, like I said, they weren't crazy big or anything like that, but for a lightweight, that was a pretty decent amount of weed. I think I was like 14 too at the time, so I was pretty young. But after that, I put what I had left back into my little deodorant package. And I was a little confused, like I, I wasn't even feeling anything at all. I kind of just thought that maybe I didn't have enough or anything like that. So I was just kind of like, oh well, maybe next time, and just went back inside my house. So I go back upstairs and just kind of laid on my bed, listened to some music, and all of a sudden, I realized that I was high. Like, it just kind of hit me out of nowhere. I guess you could say I realized it when I found out that I had been, like, rubbing my head for, like, 10 minutes straight. For some reason, I was just laying in bed, just kind of, like, not scratching, but just rubbing my head, listening to music. And then when I realized that, I literally had a fucking laugh attack for, like, another 10 minutes after that. But it was kind of after all that that I realized that I was high for sure. But it was just such a weird feeling knowing that I was, like, feeling it. I guess it was just kind of the realization that that was actually happening. But after that, I actually got the munchies for the first time, too. So I ended up going downstairs at, like, 1 in the morning and making myself something to eat. And I still remember just laughing so hard in the kitchen trying to find myself or, like, trying to make myself something to eat. And I don't really remember what happened after that. It was really late at night and I was tired and very much high as fuck. So I think at that point, I kind of just went to bed. But I woke up the next morning and I just felt fine. I guess I just had a really good sleep. But looking back on it now, I honestly couldn't have asked for a better first time. Mostly just because I've heard stories of people just getting super paranoid or just having like really bad anxiety on their first time. And I just ended up laughing and getting hungry, which wasn't bad at all. But anyways, guys, that was a video. I know it was kind of a shorter one. Also, I have been sick for a little bit too, so that's probably why my voice sounds like really fucked up in this video. But still be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and yeah, I'll see you guys all next week. Peace.